All right, guys, about a day later, we have lit this catapult piece, or catapult base, uh, whoops, dry and cure. She's ready for her second coat now. Uh, looks really good so far with the first coat on it. I'm gonna go and get that second coat on it. And then today we will be uh, building up on here, putting on a lot of rafts and launches and such. And we're also gonna be building the base for the secondary mounts it seems like as well. So let's go ahead and get moving on that.
All right, we've got some of the launches and rafts. Well, actually, all the launches painted. They are drying right now. Uh, these will probably need another coat of white on them to uh, complete them, but we'll see what they, what they look like once they finish. I have installed the superstructure for the boat deck and the mounts for the uh, secondary guns on the rear part of the ship. There they are right there. So those have been installed quite nicely. Uh, they're, again, they're not glued down just yet because we are really taking all of this off to paint the camouflage on the Prince of Wales later on. So they're just chilling there for there. I did, however, uh, glue down the rail system for the catapult planes. So that's already completely installed and it came out quite nice as you can see there by the paint. So now what we're going to do is build the bridge superstructure, the base and the bridge in this section. So let's go ahead and get vibing on into that. Yummy. What are you doing?
right guys there we have it the bridge is installed along with the forward superstructure uh still got one or two things to add on there like a couple of ladders and life rafts and such but we're gonna wait until we get this bridge painted and then we will go ahead and attach those on afterwards so next week if all goes well we may actually be painting the superstructure by thin I think we just have the smokestacks left and then I think the catapult aircraft and uh, the I think it's just the AA guns and secondaries after that it is I'm just looking forward to hearing the instruction manual so yeah like if all goes well next week we will be painting so that leaves me with this question to you guys what camo should I paint on the Prince of Wales here now there is of course the very complicated camo that's on the box and i'll throw up a picture of that right now which i'll do my best to do that one if that's the one that i choose to go with the one that you guys suggest or should i choose something a little bit more simple something with some more straight lines and stuff that's easier to mask and paint let me know in the comments down below i'll throw up a couple of images here at the end to give you guys an idea of what i'm thinking about even though it may not be historically accurate for this ship it still i think would maybe look better than me trying to do something above my skill level before i have i've had a chance to do something like that but anyway guys i know you guys think in the comments down below hope you guys enjoyed this video this took the better part of two or three days to do uh, just working on the ship in my free time but again let me, look, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let's get a good look at the uh profile of this ship now that she has her superstructure mostly installed you know, it looks very nice it's weird seeing the ship from this angle because in game superstructure looks massive but as you can see when you uh, remove the ship from the water it's not that big all right guys let me know you guys think in the comments down below again about the camouflage and i will see you guys in the next one